Hello tennis guys! So finally I strung the Artengo TR960 Control Tour 16 by 19 string pattern. I strung it with a black coat from Technifiber 1.28 millimeters at 23 and 20, 24 and 23 kilos and in today's video I will do the same I did in my very first video where I made the quality control test but unstrung with an unstrung racket so if you didn't see the video click somewhere here it the it the, the video will pop up in there so you will find out the unstrung specs and they were quite impressive especially in the in the terms of weight and balance the swing weight was a little bit lower than marketed by artengo or decathlon store so now we will check the weight the balance and swing weight of this strong racket that is endorsed by Gaemon Fields. So guys, stay tuned. But uh, we always have to keep in mind, I think, the, the big picture that uh, Wimbledon or, or all our tennis world, it's just, or there's no problem at all. I mean, the real problem is, is there in, in Ukraine. And uh, let's hope that there is peace very soon again. So when I'm saying that this racket is endorsed by Galmon Fields. We all know that he plays with the 18 by 20 string pattern version. And it's great that Artengo came up with idea to bring us two options, the 16 by 19 and 18 by 20 string pattern. Sadly, the 18 by 20 string pattern is not available yet in the Czech Republic. But if you look on the French Decathlon store, the racket is there. You can buy it in France. So, but eventually it will, it will arrive on the other markets. At least I hope so. But for me, the 16 by 19 string pattern is better, is easier to use, is easier to play with, is easier to generate topspin with this racket. So, the string I used for this racket is my favorite Technifiber Black Coat 1.28 millimeters, and I strung the racket at 24 and 23 kilos to compensate a little bit uh, the smaller head size because I play with a 100 inch square racket and I use a 25 and 24 kilo. Uh, of uh, tension but the smaller head so I yeah I put the tension one kilo lower so now I will measure the racket the weight of the racket and if you watch the previous video of the quality control test when I measured unstrung the racket the weight was perfect it was three point uh, it was 305 gram as it should have so I was really amazed by that so now strong 305 so strong it should be around 322 I believe Wow 323 so great great I will make a proof for you with my mobile so you can check it out so 323 that is what I expected once again a great weight a great strong weight so I will write down note about the weight 323 gram so the balance the balance of unstrung racket should be 315 millimeters when I measured it in the quality control test video, it was, I believe it was 318, I'm not sure now. 
so now it should be around maybe 328 millimeters so if you put strings on a tennis racket it's usually one centimeter more to the head the balance changes yes as I and I can see already that it will be it is as I said about 320 328 millimeters once again proof for you yeah it looks like that 328 so here we go 328 millimeters strong and now the biggest question the swing weight that we all uh, are waiting for so I measured the unstrung swing weight at I as I remember 278 swing weight points so uh, it should have 285 so seven swing weight point less that is quite let's say disappointing because that's that's quite a lot you will definitely feel that uh, so with strings it should be it should be let's say plus 30 points so it should have around 308 points now so I didn't do it so I don't know what the number is going to be guys it will be a surprise for me and once again the machine is perfectly calibrated I calibrate it every time with this stick this stick is a swing of 200 kilograms per square centimeters and it showed 200 before this video so I will adjust it a little bit so it is right position now great I hope you will see the result on the display of this swing weight machine so let's go three hundred and seven as I expected so I expected three hundred and eight three hundred and seven so it is almost the same so once again nice low swing weight it's a very maneuverable racket kind of really easy to swing with but the head size the 630 square centimeters make it difficult for people like I am because I'm used to 100 square inch uh, racket so guys this was the test with a strong Artengo TR960 control tour 16 by 19 string pattern uh, I have to say that I've played with the racket few more hours I'm still not getting into the point I would say uh, I can play with the racket I can really play matches with this racket but during some training I, I'm starting liking the racket more and more and what is interesting I gave the racket to a coach of a local club of our local of our biggest club with uh, 10 courts and with indoor courts and uh, this guy is playing with a prestige racket I'm not sure what which version but it's a that the, it's the 320 gram version so really heavy it's the mid mid plus MP version uh, older version not the newest one and when I gave him the record he was like yeah it looks like my prestige the frame looks like my prestige and when he hit with this record he was like wow the balls fly really great actually at higher speed than from his prestige so he was really impressed and then I gave it to another coach who is playing with a pro staff 97 and he was once again wow Artengo what the hell they can produce a 
tour rackets, uh, really competitive rackets. He was really surprised and he was more surprised when I told him the price for the racket. So guys, this racket deserves your attention if you are on the competitive level, tournament level of play, maybe a junior, maybe some uh, like a really high club level player give this record a shot it's a it's like a head prestige or like a wilson uh, pro staff it's a similar control oriented record nice flexible frame lots of feel uh, lots of pop if you hit it correctly in the sweet spot so guys i will be doing more videos of this record and of course i'm preparing the final review for this record but for now stay tuned check out my other videos so guys let me know in the comments what do you think about this racket are you considering buying this racket do you have a decathlon store near your uh, home or uh, do you just uh, need to order it from let's say far far away or uh, don't you don't you have the possibility to order it at all because people are asking me questions where will build will be this record available in the united states and i'm like i don't know i hope so i hope so but for now it the record is almost once again outsold in europe so uh everyone wants to hit with this record right now because it is great and it is cheap and these two things when come together people go crazy about it so guys let me know in the comments what do you think about this racket what is your preferable racket uh, why would you change your racket for this stick and as usual if you like my videos click the thumbs up button if you don't like my videos click the thumbs down button leave a comment that's the most important thing the feedback i read all your comments so guys i don't have time to actually reply every day to a comment but i leave the comments there for like few days and then when i have time i reply to all of them when it is possible so guys thank you very much for watching and if you want to support my channel just buy me a coffee yeah the link is in the description below this video i will highly appreciate it and for now that's all about this record wait for future videos and thanks for watching watch some tennis play tennis every time every day and i will catch you in my next video bye guys you can't be serious man you cannot be serious that ball was on the line